Hi guys. So I just wanted to give a bit of a review of what I thought of the new Joann's prototype store that opened on Polaris in Columbus. So I went to the Friday grand opening. We were there, Emmy and I, at like 8.45. Uh, the store opens at 9. Um, it was really cool. Uh, when we walked in, they gave us this store map, which I will put the whole picture of. The store itself was huge. Like... It was full of people but you could tell that it was very huge all the aisles were shorter aisles so they were kind of packed together and there was a lot of trying to get around people but I think that's mostly a lot of hustle and bustle for it just opening so um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of what the store looked like I didn't get to film everywhere because like I said, it was very busy and I didn't want to be getting in anyone's way, but I did get some clips. Uh, all the fabric is stored um, up and down instead of like some stores have it at an angle, all the bolts at an angle and you have to pull them out to look at them. Other stores have the very short shelves and you have to, you know, go down, bend over to get the fabric and it gets pulled out. Most of the aisles were the tall racks and uh, some of them were a little bit more elevated so that you could really see everything. And um, they had all the aisles sort of like, you know, all mishmashed lined up, which I think worked better because they got more aisles for the space. Uh, they also had the round aisles and for the most part, everything was really organized in a way that made sense. So, um, all of the stations that tended to have, uh, like you want to lay something out and look at it, there were actually tables. There's something called like the creator studio. And that was actually like a lounge that was super cool. Uh, I guess you could rent it. I know when we were there, they were just letting people use it and they had different activities you could do. Uh, there were a lot of kids like doing fleece tie blankets and that sort of thing. But it actually had like a microwave and a sink and uh, a Starbucks machine which is so exciting it was free they had like hot chocolate chai tea uh, regular coffee they had different Tezo tea packets it was all very nice it was very quality they had a TV so you could see when your name was called for cutting the the cutting system is something that I was actually kind of like how does this actually work because it said online like you could uh, get a text when your order is ready to be cut and so that just means you have the option to either stand there in line still and just see your name when it comes up it'll have your name and which station to go to the stations are numbered which is super helpful they'll call your name or you can sign up for texts and it'll just text your phone when they're ready for you uh, I wouldn't opt to do that unless it was like crazy busy because it was really busy and we were still like immediately once we had put our name in they were ready for us but they also had extra employees they said I asked the girl who was cutting my fabric and she said that she was actually from a different store so they brought in extra help for this grand opening so I can't really vouch right now for how good the store is like employee wise and having enough employees like in the ad and on the map it says there's like the personal shopper to get like side-by-side -side assistance that's someone who will go around the store and help you pick out what you need but where there were so many extra employees there i don't even know which person that was supposed to be uh they had a lot of employees just like sitting at tables to give demos and things so i don't know um they also had in the baking aisle which was really exciting there was like an actual oven uh, the girl that was there showing us and telling us about that was actually like baking cookies for everyone they had a rack in the lobby area that had cookies and paper crafting it was all pretty much the same but it was laid out on a very tall wall that like spanned an entire outer wall of the building it was very well lit everything was well lit i didn't feel like like some joanne's you go in and they're very dark and dusty and i know this one is obviously nice because it's a grand opening but the lighting and the way they had it set up made way more sense it just looked really good um, they had the sewing machines all set out, which I know some stores used to do, but they didn't do anymore. So they've gone back to that setup where you can have all the machines sitting out so you can look at them, like push the buttons, and um, 
they had more brands. That's something I definitely noticed. The store is carrying more items and they're quality items. Actually, something I noticed is Joann's has their own brand of stuff. I don't know if this was at some stores, but just not the ones I was going to. But like the vinyl for the Cricut machines and the Silhouette machines, they actually have a Joann brand now that is um, a roll just like the other ones. It just says Joann on it. Uh, it was more expensive when I went than the Cricut stuff, but I also think the Joann stuff you might be able to use a coupon on if it's not on sale. The problem I had when I went is they had a grand opening sale, so like the Cricut stuff was 50% off instead of the usual like 25 or 30%. So I think the Joann products are supposed to be a better deal, but just when I went, the other stuff was too on sale for it to be a better deal. They had the scissors on these really cool round aisles, and they kind of marketed that as like, essentials for your project so like glue sticks and glue had its own round aisle and scissors had its own round aisle big exciting thing was that they had a price check thing because everybody's always like how much does this actually cost with the sale so you can just scan it it's just like the ones at walmart um it was cool to see that there because that means they're listening to the feedback that people are confused about the prices the creator studio it had I think their own seamstress, like the seamstress had her own machines at it. I don't know if they're her machines or if the store is going to stock like a, another machine. You can see it's a huge serger machine and then another smaller machine there. Patterns were displayed really well. They had some patterns that I've tried to find at other stores and could not find. Um, they're actually little tables you can sit at now with the books and they're broken up by brand at each table and the table itself has the drawers you pull out. Uh, they do kind of break it up weirdly, but I don't know if that's just because that store had so many patterns at it or if all the stores are going to be broken up oddly. So it'd be like 1,000 through 8,000 and then like 9,000 would be at the table. Um, it was just different. I didn't have any problems finding the patterns. So they did give us a book that lists some of the classes and it's actually a very thick book and this is just for the summer. So I think this Joann's is really intending to do a lot of classes. And some of them are like, you know, simple, like mending techniques for one session. That's an hour and a half, that's $25. They have like baking ones now because they have that oven. So there's like French mac macarons, macaroons. I don't know, but you can make, you can bake there. You can rent the sewing machines and use those, and they had a Silhouette Cameo 3 that you could rent as well and use, and those were all at one table. Um, everything was very like friend and community oriented, while also being very self-serve. So um, they had tables where lots of women were just sitting there knitting and having a good time and laughing, and they also had like an employee station like a little bit away from there. They also, you know how they have like the cards that had like try this project idea. Well, that's what their, their Pinterest and their craft idea board is now. Uh, it's a digital screen where you can go through and look at all the little free paper ads that they would have just throughout the store. You can text or email them to yourself so you have them digitally. It's their touch screen. It's a great big screen. I've probably really rambled in this, but uh, the other thing I'm very excited about is these field guides. Uh, I only found the fine arts and the basic sewing when I was walking around, but I have a feeling there are way more of them. They're just in each aisle that you go to, and they're actually like very nice guides. They're free. They've got a spot for your name. Um, they're really great if you're new to projects, so this is all information that a team member doesn't have to have memorized. They can look at the book, or you can look at your book and find out. Um, so like the drawing one has all the different uh, sketches that like pencils will make. So it's really helpful. It tells you about the different paint markers, which brings up a big point there. Fine Arts is so much better now. They have like Copic markers. They have um, new like oil based markers or acrylic paint markers that aren't, they don't smell. We actually watched a girl paint rocks with them. They do glass rocks all kinds of stuff and they do not smell. They were amazing. I wanted all of them. <laughs> they have a lot more of the individual markers you can buy at the store and it was so tempting. And um, the sewing guide is also very helpful. Um, I don't remember which aisle I found this in, 
they're really scattered around the store. It's kind of fun to like just walk around the store and find all the free guides and information panels and things like that. I will probably keep these forever just as a reminder of how to do a certain thing when I don't want to be looking up a tutorial for something simple like what kind of pin to use. So yeah, my overall review of the new Joann's Prototype Store is definitely a thumbs up. I will be shopping at this one whenever I am in the area and I really hope they bring uh, most of the interactive features to the other stores. I don't really think the kiosks with the, the little Pinterest quizzes and things added much to the experience. Nobody was really using them. It was just a cooler aisle setup, better environment, more things to do. Just really loved it and um, I think it's cool. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more crafty content. I have been doing vacation things and I am getting back in the swing of things and I have a Comic-Con video almost all edited to be posting soon and uh, a haul and a couple other things. I really want to do some E3 inspired projects. I was super excited to hear about the new Kingdom Hearts game, get more updates on that. I really want to do some Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff and some Smash Bros. Uh, really anything else that you guys suggest I would like to try so leave me some comments down below on what you would like to see and uh, that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye!